Xbox exclusive games are about to get, well, a little bit less exclusive and I'm here to tell you why that's happening. If you want to know which games from Xbox might be moving across to other platforms like PlayStation 5, then keep watching this video because I'll be revealing those later on. At this point you've probably heard all of the rumours flying around about various Xbox games that might be moving across to PlayStation 5. It looks like we're at the point where these rumours might become fact as the Xbox boss has just revealed that they'll be doing a huge business update next week. In that tweet, Phil Spencer, head of Xbox, said this. We're listening and we hear you. We've been planning a business update event for next week where we look forward to sharing more details with you about our vision for the future of Xbox. Stay tuned. Now, before we get into what games might be moving across to platforms like PlayStation 5, let's talk a little bit about why this might be happening. Xbox console sales have been struggling when you compare them to the rest of the market. Last year, Sony sold around 50 million PlayStation 5s, and that's all whilst the likes of Nintendo Switch saw a 20% dip in sales, and Xbox saw a 15% dip in sales. Not only that, but Xbox just made a huge round of layoffs, and a big part of those layoffs was removing the whole team that was historically responsible for bringing physical games to market. This is also compounded by the fact that now a lot of European retailers are saying they're not even interested in stocking physical Xbox games anymore because everyone just views the Xbox as a digital console and not stocking their physical games in store really makes no difference to them. Now more generally in the market we have people like the head of subscriptions at Ubisoft saying that gamers should become more comfortable with not owning physical games. I wonder what the head of subscriptions at Ubisoft has to gain from gamers not owning physical games. Anyway, the basic picture is that PlayStation 5 is absolutely rocketing in terms of sales whilst Xbox is struggling. It's not all been bad news for Xbox. Last year, Game Pass had an incredible year and they had some really high profile exclusive games coming to Game Pass from day one. People who had Game Pass essentially didn't need to buy games like Starfield because they had it as part of their subscription anyway. But with the ability for people to now stream Xbox games through the Game Pass on smart TVs or the MetaQuest or play through PC, the need to actually have an Xbox console is becoming less and less over time. There are some rumours that Xbox is working on a handheld console that will play Xbox games natively, but in essence it doesn't seem to be that they're putting that much effort into actually trying to sell their physical hardware. So with the likes of big acquisitions such as Activision Blizzard and having some of these huge, huge games on Game Pass from day zero, Microsoft has a lot of ground to make up in terms of revenue recovery and console sales just isn't doing it for them. So what's the only other option? Make their exclusive games a little bit less exclusive. The rumours of games like Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves moving across the PlayStation 5 have been around for a while now but recent revelations are showing that there's going to be some huge changes in terms of what it means to be an Xbox exclusive or even if an Xbox exclusive will actually exist anymore. The latest news is that Xbox's biggest AAA game from Bethesda last year, Starfield, is going to be moving across the PlayStation 5 this year. Not only that, but the next big AAA exclusive release for Xbox, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, might be coming to PlayStation from launch. So we don't know anything for sure so far, and we're probably not going to get official confirmation on this until next week when Xbox do their business update. But the rumours that we have so far, and these are from pretty good sources, say that Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves will be coming to PlayStation with no defined date. Starfield should also be coming to PlayStation 5, and the rumour is saying that that will be released after the Shattered Space expansion, which is later this year, and will be coming to PlayStation 5 as a complete bundle. That means you'll get access to the main Starfield game and any expansions that are released from day one on PlayStation 5. The final rumor, as I said, is that Indiana Jones and the Great Circle will be on PlayStation 5 either on release or very shortly after its release on Xbox, meaning that it's not really an exclusive game at all. I'm not sure if this is the right move for Xbox. I think short term, it will definitely get them some more revenue. There'll be a whole bunch of PlayStation 5 players who wanna have a go on Starfield and give it a go, despite what the reviews might have been of the game. 
There will be a lot of people that are very interested in Indiana Jones. It looks like a superb game. And basically PlayStation 5 players are getting access to a whole bunch of new games that historically were out of bounds for them and they're not really having to do anything extra for it. Meanwhile, Xbox players are getting a lot less in terms of exclusive games, while PlayStation 5 players are gaining everything without having to give up any ground. The big question here is do great games sell consoles? I think the answer is yes. Look at how many people went out to buy the PlayStation 5 just to play Hogwarts Legacy, just because of the nostalgia of that game. When I bought my PlayStation 5, I had no allegiance to any particular console, and I bought it off the back of what I thought were a better set of exclusive games, and so far I've not been disappointed. It's gonna be an interesting time for gaming. Will Xbox become more of a digital platform rather than a physical console? Will PlayStation really just take over the market in terms of physical console sales? Who knows? Let me know what you think in the comments about Xbox games becoming less exclusive. I'll reply to every single one of you and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to hear more gaming news in the future.